What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And here we are once again with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S911. And we're going to pair it with the Dex Nor keyboard case for an unbox, a demo, and review. Now the good news is this keyboard case is also available for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus. So anyway, the Dexnor keyboard case appears promising because it converts the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 series into a mini computer with magnetism and Bluetooth pairing. This keyboard case also improves productivity with a dedicated Dex keyboard shortcut and full access to the S Pen, so you're going to have that functionality still. So that being said, in my opinion, a kit like this serves as a strong argument against Chromebooks because we get a lot of the same software features with added capabilities, such as a quick release, which allows us to use the Tab S9 as a standalone tablet still, but we still have that S Pen function functionality and also this is just a smaller lighter kit compared to most chromebooks that being said the goal of this content is to help you get more out of your devices and improve your day-to-day -day efficiency and i'm hoping to accomplish this by providing content you can't find anywhere else that's because i actually buy these products i use them long term and i'm actually interested in them all things said let's go ahead and get into it so let's start with the unboxing it's going to be pretty simple here we're going to have some nice brand in we're going to have dexner for every adventure i like that slogan there and again this is for the samsung galaxy tab s9 s9 fe so if you have the fe edition that works here as well with this case so flipping over we're going to just have some basic details here. We have a magnetic floating cantilever, which looks really nice, by the way. Multi-view and angle, precise multi-touch trackpad, seven color backlit keys. So if you are into color customization of the keyboard, that's going to be here. That's a huge plus. We've got a long lasting battery life and a magnetic S Pen holder. And then we have some basic directions here with a QR code for an installation video. Although installation is very simple for this product, a huge plus. And then we're going to have some contact information here as well. As for the sides, we are going to have forest green colorway here. And it just says Dexnor and a lot of the other sides are going to be pretty plain except for Dexnor. Brandon once again there, and there's the last remaining side. So we're going to slide off the lid here, nice and smooth like a lot of unboxings. A very satisfying open in here. Then we're going to have our installation manual and some more product information. And then we're going to have the Dexnor keyboard case wrapped in plastic. We're going to pull that out. And we're going to set that to the side for the moment as we continue this unboxing. And then we're going to have a USB cable for charging. And this is going to be USB-A to USB-C. It's a very basic looking cable, very generic looking. It doesn't have any Dex nor brand in here, but it'll get the job done. So let's go ahead and set this stuff to the side. So let's talk more about the Dexnor keyboard case. Now this is made from anti-scratch PU leather. And if we flip over to the underside, it's going to be very plain. It's going to lack any branding. And it's also not going to have any keyboard risers as you might expect. So flipping over, that's where we're going to start to find details. We're going to have Dexnor Brandon in the top left hand corner and then this large cutout and it serves as the cutout for the S Pen, the flashlight and the rear camera. Now, as for fingerprints and smudges, over time they will show up here. So you are going to have to wipe off occasionally with a microfiber towel and a cleaner of some sort. But returning back to this cutout, what this means is that we can mount the Tab S9 without interference with the S Pen. So the S Pen can stay on the back of the Tab S9 when mounting, a huge plus. So anyways, let's open the lid of the Dexnor keyboard case and we're going to get about 125 degrees of articulation at the hinge. And I'm not sure if this is in combination with the lid itself because the lid also articulates. And as for play, there is a little bit of play in that aluminum hinge, 
which is further exaggerated when you actually have the Tab S9 mounted. However, I wouldn't consider this a deal breaker. It's basically what you would expect in a form factor like this. So let's mount the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 11, which is quick and easy due to embedded magnets, which are strong by the way, and hold very well. This isn't going to just fall off easily. In fact, you can actually grab this by the tablet itself and it stays put. You can shake it a little bit here. So that's going to be very reassuring. That was one of my concerns when actually picking up this keyboard case. So we're going to remove the styrofoam here and then we're going to turn on the unit and that's done by pressing the power button in the top right hand corner. You have to hold it down and that will power on the keyboard. And this is already paired, but if we were to pair it for the first time, we have a pairing button right next to the power button. That's super convenient because you don't have to do any research. It's just straightforward, so there is no guessing. So if we were to pair, we would press and hold down the pairing button until it starts to flash blue there. And then we would look for the Dexnor keyboard case in our Bluetooth settings. But since this is paired already, I'm going to power off here really quick. And this is demonstrating the power off as well. And then we'll power back on. And you'll also notice that as we power on, it's going to cycle through the different color modes here as it waits to pair. And then once paired, it's going to go back to your pre-selected colorway. Now, as you might have noticed earlier in the video here, I actually grabbed the whole kit by one hand just to demonstrate how strong the magnet is, but I actually don't feel comfortable doing so here or at the actual keyboard. The problem with the actual keyboard area is there's actually a bit of noticeable flex here. So I don't feel comfortable doing that only because I feel like I might break or crack the keyboard over time or create some kind of wear or breakage in that sense. So I would recommend grabbing the whole kit with two hands. This feels a little bit more comfortable if you're grabbing by the keyboard area or by two hands if you're grabbing by the tablet area. It just makes you feel a bit more secure too as you have improved grip on this whole kit. And once attached, again, we get this floating cantilever design. It looks really clean, it looks minimal. I would say it looks modern and futuristic. And then we also have supported sleep-wake functionality. So if we close the kit, the keyboard and the display are going to turn off. And then if we open the kit, the keyboard and the display turn back on. That's really cool. So let's talk protection. Now I will say I was coming from an actual case that provided all around protection. And that means that case also had side protection. Now the Dexnor keyboard case isn't going to have side protection. Well, actually it does, but it's limited. So the lid actually extends slightly further out than the actual size of the tablet. So you do get a bit of side protection, but the sides themselves are actually fully exposed. But if it gives you any peace of mind, again, this is like a traditional laptop when the Tab S9 is mounted. So just like on a laptop where you would have the sides exposed, you're going to have the sides exposed here. So what that means is you may want to pick up a case or sleeve that this whole kit will fit in if you're worried about the sides getting scratched or dinged up. So let's return back to that cutout on the lid for the S Pen. Now what's really cool about the Dexner keyboard case is of course you can mount the S Pen on the lid as we already covered. But there's actually another spot for it, which I thought was really interesting. You can actually park the S Pen right above the keyboard there. There is a magnetized spot and the S Pen sits there securely. And it's actually a little bit easier to access than trying to fill the back of the lid for the Dexner keyboard case and trying to find it there and hoping that you don't drop it. So what this means is you don't have to worry about dropping that S Pen. And that means that there is less of a chance of you losing it because the S Pen actually stores here as well. So what that means is if we actually close the complete kit here, the S Pen is not going to fall out. It's actually hidden in there. It's secure. It's actually protected too from scratches and dings. So that's an interesting benefit of this keyboard case as well. I really like that. We've got quite a few features packed in here, which gives this a modern futuristic vibe. Moving down the keyboard, we're going to have some Dexnor Brandon in the top left hand corner. And then we're going to have some silicone padding or rubber strips. 
and I imagine those are going to aid in a smoother closure. And then again, we're going to have our Bluetooth pairing button and our power button in the top right hand corner. So as for keyboard layout, we're going to have all the keys you would expect in a compact form. So we're going to have a top row of keyboard shortcuts as well as more shortcuts littered throughout the rest of the keyboard. So these are going to include things such as a shortcut for dex mode, which is enabled or disabled with the function and caps lock combined. Switching is quick and easy here. And then we're also going to have a shortcut for the backlit colors. So function and enter. And we're going to have seven color options here. And then we're going to also have dimming modes for those color options, which is going to be enabled or cycled through using the function key and shift. So we can turn the backlight and off if that's your thing or we can make it slightly brighter with three brightness options. Also a plus here, some really cool, simple customization. Now this is going to be a very slim profile. So keyboard performance is going to be pretty good considering the circumstances of how thin the hardware is here. Now there was one issue that I noticed when using this keyboard case with the Tab S9, and that is the cursor sometimes would jump to the beginning of the line or to the end of the line or somewhere else when I was working in a document. But I was able to actually work around this. Now, it doesn't seem like it's the Dexnor keyboard's case fault. It seems like it's more of a Samsung software fault. So what I did is I went into the Samsung keyboard and turned off predictive text, and that seemed to help out a little bit. So something to consider if you have that issue. Now, just like the lid and the underside, the keyboard area is going to attract fingerprints and smudges, as well as the keys that you use the most. But this can be easily cleaned with a microfiber cloth and again, a clean and solvent. And then we're going to have the multi-touch trackpad, which is great for navigating the Android UI or applications such as a browser. And this is also going to have left and right clicks. Now it's not visually divided so that you can tell, it's not marked or anything. You'll just know by feel. The left side is going to be a left click and the right side is going to be a right click. And just like the keyboard, this works fairly well considering how thin, again, the hardware is. And then we are going to have battery and the Dexnor keyboard case features a 650 milliamp hour battery, which is rated for up to 200 hours of continued use or 1,200 hours on standby per charge. And then we have charging. And as we talked about in the unboxing, there was a USB-A to USB-C cable. So the Dexnor keyboard case is charged by USB-C. That's a huge plus but it's also charged on the right side of the device. And this is a plus because the charge port for the Tab S9 is also on the right side. So what that means is it's easy to switch between both of those ports. Unfortunately, you can't charge a Tab S9 through the keyboard itself, though that would be pretty cool. So what's the verdict? Well, the Dexnor keyboard case is an attractive addition to the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 11. I really love this. I love the modern futuristic appearance. It just looks great. The functionality is also good here, although we do have a slim profile, but it works. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon check in out.